we are right now building a very unique A-frame cabin in the forest here in northern Sweden. In part one, we built the foundation and then also raised the basic frame of the cabin. But now we're part two and so much has been done since part one and I can't wait to show you. Oh, But first we need to jump back in time a bit, actually a few months. Uh, because before the snow came, we decided to dig a very long and wide ditch to get electricity up to this A-frame. So I called my friend Stefan and he showed up with his <laughs> digging machine and he spent an entire day here digging a very big ditch from the main cabin all the way up to the A-frame. And that took, yeah, an entire day. And when Stefan was done with the ditch, it was time to put in the electricity cable. So my very, very lovely friends, Lars and Adrian, showed up. Adrian came with the enormous long cable. Uh, so we put that all the way over at the, the main cabin and then rolled it out, rolled it out all the way to the, the A-frame. So that was <laughs> a bit of work to say the least as well. And we're still missing the fiber optics cable, but that's gonna run in the same ditch all the way from the cabin to the A-frame. Just grab that and walk to him. Isn't this convenient? Yeah, it's cozy. <laughs> Freezing cold. <laughs> and cables. Perfect. Happy with it? Oh, yeah. yeah.
do you have any idea what these tracks are? <laughs> I've never seen something like this before. It looks like an animal has just kind of dragged something after them. I don't know, it just continues for a long time in there. Oof, I got a bit scared. Look! <laughs> what is this? Any ideas? <laughs> okay, now I feel a bit stupid. Um, I did some more investigation of the tracks and uh, figured out that uh, the clue is right here. I don't know if you can see it. There. It was all the snow on the electrical wire. <laughs> I just fell down. So, falling down from the line and then down here. So, there was no mysterious animal or anything. <laughs> Okay, I feel extremely dumb right now. Yesterday I shoveled snow for about like seven hours non-stop uh, for the truck to be able to get in up our road and all the way to the cabin. Then when he got here, uh, we realized or he realized that his truck was, he said something about that it only has two axles, which means it can't really turn uh, here. So this is our like main road, uh, the gravel road. Uh, so he left all the materials down here or we agreed on he leaving it here but the problem with that is that <laughs> this is our driveway uh, so it's 200 meters that way and when you get to the top of that it's another 200 meters that way and then there's another 150 meters all the way up to the a-frame <sighs> so yeah this is gonna be my day i think
Everything is now inside of the A-frame. It's been nine and a half hours since I started. Uh, I had one short break for lunch, but that's it. Oh my God. I'm so tired. <laughs> nine and a half hours and I've taken over 40, 45,000 steps today. And I haven't even walked the dogs or anything. That's just carrying this. You know when you can see the potential of a place and you're just so eager to get it done? That's what I'm feeling right now.
When it comes to building something like this, there is a lot of decisions going into it. Like all the things on what kind of roof you want and to what kind of door you want. And I can't make up my mind which design I should go for when it comes to the door. I've hired a person, Åsa, he's called. She lives in, lives in Näsåker, so quite close to here. She was the one building our main door for the, the main cabin, so to speak. So I've been trusting her with this assignment. But she's been giving me a few designs to choose from. So which one do you vote for? And I honestly really need your help. So I would appreciate if you can make a comment on which design you would vote for. You would vote for. Here we are. So this is the stage we're in now. All the windows are in. We've done all what we call uh, thrust bottom, those boards here. So in these compartments, we're gonna put insulation. And I've actually already started down here. So this first compartment is already done. So this, this we're using is called wooden fiber. Very good material. So we actually have three layers of this here in each box. So it's like one, two, three. So it's quite thick. And each of these are nine, well, let's see, uh, 9.5 centimeters each, each. So it's a lot of insulation, which is good. But there is uh, <laughs> a bit of boxes to fill still. So 
I have my work cut out for me, to say the least. If you like videos like this one and want to watch even more of my stuff, and even watch it before anyone else, there is actually a very easy way to do so. We've actually made even more innovations in the cabin. We've created a cozy corner for movie nights, and also built our very own sauna. Those videos will be uploaded to Nebula, which is a streaming service owned by us creators. On Nebula, we have recently launched something called Nebula First, which means I upload my videos there sometimes weeks before they go live on YouTube. On Nebula, you also get to see my bonus videos that I don't share anywhere else. And everything on Nebula is completely ad-free. When you sign up using my Nebula link down in the description, you'll get an exclusive discount, which means that for yearly plans, it goes down to as little as $3.33 per month for an entire year of extra and exclusive content. And since the service is owned by us creators, more of this money goes directly to us. So by signing up using my link down in the description, you're actually directly supporting me and this channel going forward. So I can invest even more time and money into videos like this one and make even more fun re renovations going forward. So every sign up actually makes a huge difference. So click the link right there and that will get you the exclusive discount where you only need to pay $3.33 each month. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next Sunday.